Boom, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Deli Dose of Loves. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. You guys uh, seen in our previous video, we went ahead and gave you guys a review on the OVS Mamba 3, the OVS, the Overland Vehicle Systems Rooftop Tent. Um, and in that video, I did tell you guys that we were gonna be installing the OVS shower system on the tent. Well, we're going to skip that a little bit. We'll come back to it. We're actually gonna be doing, as you guys can see, I got a couple boxes here, is we're gonna be installing the Pro Speed exterior molly panel on the driver's side window to allow us to mount my water port. So that is a water port that we were, were running on the 4Runner prior to the incident in the 4Runner. Moment of silence for the 4Runner. And continue. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna be installing that on the driver's side. I'm gonna attempt to do it there. I was gonna put it on the passenger side, but I think because I have the ladder to enter the tent on that side, I really don't want to unmount those joints to move them on this side, or those brackets, I should say. So we're gonna install it on this side, or whatever, right? Um, and so, yeah, that's it. So I'm over here at my parents' house. Uh, normally I'd be in the garage and showing you guys a little bit of the, uh, what, you know, the box and whatnot, but uh, they're actually remodeling their kitchen, so the garage is kind of busy, got a lot of stuff going on in there. So we're just kinda work from the outside, of, or the back of the Lexus today and install it. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Um, so let me go ahead and give you guys a breakdown of it, of what we all got, and then uh, show you guys, um, yeah. Show you guys what whatever anyways let's get to it in three two one let's go about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Boom guys, so let me give you, give you guys an overview So, you guys seen the pros people exterior panel for the Lexus so I'll put their link in the description below to show you guys where I got it from and whatnot um, and like I said as you guys seen I do have the water port so we're gonna be installing that too and I think um, they do also have it set up where you can you mount the rotopack gas tank if you like um, I don't have a rotopack gas tank that I'd like to mount to it I do have rotopack gas tank that I use on the C4 rear bumper for the 4Runner but that was a two gallon one the long one that just looks freaking goofy on the side of the car I think um, and second I mean just don't really need to be running around with the gas tank on the side of the car I feel like um, then uh, as you guys seen we do have another additional Prinsu crossbar that we're gonna be adding to the roof rack the reason that is is um, I'm already running at one additional roof rack um, one sec I stepped on the car keys whoa I'm already running one additional roof rack uh, bar crossbar on the Prinsu uh, and I did have to make some adjustments to it to get the rooftop tent to mount as close as to the front of the Lexus as I could. So, kind of did leave an open gap in the rear. So, we're going to add one more to kind of just reinforce the roof rack. Is it necessary? Maybe not so. I don't really know. I'm not an engineer by no means. So, I don't really know how that process works. But either way, though, we're just going to add it just because of the fact that it's kind of missing. So, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. And then you guys can maybe understand a little bit more. So. So this crossbar here, let me fix this, hold on. There we go. This crossbar here used to sit, whoa, hold on. It's kind of bright out here. Ah, hang tight. Oh, I'll fix this. I don't know if it's gonna fix itself or not. This crossbar here used to sit here. So anyways, I'll fix it later. But it used to sit here. Boom, sorry about that guys. The angle I think of where the Lexus is sitting in the sun is right now, it's just beaming down on that recorder panel piece I don't know and it's uh, I think just causing a glare into the camera uh, so I mean the lights are a little off it's a little it's just a little distorted I think whatever too much exposure I don't know how to do this camera stuff sometimes anyways I uh, hope you guys get the picture just need to add additional crossbar that's why we're doing it second I don't know either whatever number of item 
discussion point that we're at at this point. Let me tell you guys this. If you guys have a lifted vehicle like this, get yourself one of these little like painter things. I don't know what those things are called, but I will tell you that they will save your, they will just save you from having so much effort of being like up here, like trying to reach and stuff and whatnot, just because that you can stand on top of it. it gives you like an extra two feet of height. I don't know. I could be wrong. Anyways, I think they're like painting and whatnot, um, but they're super, it's super great. I kind of want to get two, one for each side of the car. Do I even need it? I don't probably need two. I just, one's fine, but Dude, it's super awesome. Now it's gonna be easier to mount everything up there and not have to like reach up. Anyways, let's get to it. Let's mount the, I th actually, first thing first. Um, we need to, uh, I think what we need to do is before we add the crossbar, is we need to add the panel that's going to sit on top of the roof rack um, because we're gonna have to loosen up the, the bolts to the current bars that are up there to attach the panel that it attaches to. So let's do that real quick. Boom guys, what's going on? So, welcome back to the back of the Lexus. Got the Molly panel here, as you guys can see. Um, it does come with these two suction cups that we're gonna be installing. Looks like it's got two mounting holes, one here and one here. Just uh, whatever side you decide to put it on will determine what side you put the suction cups on. This is going on the driver's side. So, means that It's got to go on this side. So let's go ahead and get that put together real quick. There we go. Got it installed. Boom and boom. I would say this though is it does have adjustability for these, but um, I would try to bring them in as close as you can to the inside of the panel. And the reason that is because I just tried kind of placing it up there. And I noticed that if you spread them out further, you're closer to get to the trim. And I think, you know, that's probably the last thing you want is probably a full seal between the suction cup and the window if it's too close to the window trim it'll probably get air and then the what you call it suction cup will disengage or come loose i don't know and you probably don't want that so probably recommend bring them in as close as you can to the mountain points but there we go that looks about right so now on the water port i was using the prince roof rack uh water mount water port mount for the top of the rack but I don't think I'm gonna require it because I think it will pro speed does say that the does mount to the roof rack or to the water port so I'm assuming these lines should just line up with it so that uh, pretty pretty convinced feel pretty good about that so let's go ahead and mount the actual mounting bracket to the roof rack I think that's gonna be the hardest time-consuming thing so let's knock that out real quick okay so let me show you guys so this crossbar currently holds the rooftop tent. This one currently holds the rooftop tent. Here's a factory one. I've kind of just ran this one in here to kind of show where I want it. Uh, this one, I think after figuring this out, this one I'm gonna unbolt on the other side and this side and move it here, unbolt the rooftop tent, unbolt this one so that this will kind of sit like this. There we go. So yeah boom there we go yeah got it figured it out let's go ahead and unmount these bars all right guys so here's what i did i unmounted the crossbar that was holding the roof rack off and then this bar is pretty much going to hold the weight here the bar that was here i went ahead and unbolted it which i'm going to move here now what i did kind of just realize though is i should have mounted the molly panel to this first and then mounted it all as one but I don't know so we're gonna have to just figure it out but i'm gonna get this mounted up so this will be nice and sturdy up here which then i think we're gonna work on maybe mounting the water port to the actual exterior to the exterior panel and then mounting that to here um, because i think it's gonna be kind of hard to kind of get through here and i think i'm gonna end up uh removing the prince uh mount because it won't work because that actually allows for it to be mounted to the rack from the back of the water port so we just need to unmount it to mount the water port to the back of the exterior panel you guys will see here in a sec but let me go ahead and finish bolting up the crossbars real quick I went ahead and got this bar bolted in this one here this one there I mean I got to tighten it up but as you guys can see there we go pretty sturdy and I think here you could like mount other things to it depending on what you're wanting I mean you could probably mount some sort of like probably a shovel maybe a flashlight 
I don't know, maybe a laser beam shooter. Now here's where we'll mount this. Let me clean, clean the window off and then we'll get this bad boy mounted up here. But actually, there we go, that's what it looks like. First, let's actually unbolt the water port from the Prince Sue rooftop tent, the rooftop from the Prince Sue uh, water port mount. And then we're gonna bolt that to the board and then we'll get the board and that mounted together as one. Let's unbolt that real quick. All right guys, so this bracket came with the water pour. I don't know if it comes with all of them. I had I bought a kit that came with a bunch of mounting accessories. But this bracket is what we're gonna actually mount to the exterior panel. And then this should allow for the water pour to sit there. Now, it does come with the bolt here, or hole for a bolt, which I'll end up putting in here to keep it from rattling and, you know, keep honest people honest. I mean, if somebody didn't wanna take it, they could take it, you know, but that at least do that. Um, so now, just gotta get this mounted to the panel. All right guys, so we had to modify some stuff. Uh, the water port mount because it doesn't really lock in it's a bolt hole i didn't have a bolt so i found one in my bolts of stuff so i drill, uh, drill out the hole bigger in the rack not in the rack i lied and the water port mount let me show you guys right there drill that hole out drilled this hole out but this bad boy is good to go got a bolt nut washers lock washers now, ready to install this bad boy on there, so we can put it up there. Let's go. All right, guys, so here's what we got going on. Is I gotta get the nut with this screw back here. So what I've done is I've engineered this famous tool, uh, blue tape with the nut, with my bolt here. So we're gonna attempt to slide this back there. Oh, hold on. I think we got it. Ooh, perfecto. Tighten this bad boy up. Bam, just like that. And there, we have two in. One more to go. We're not going to be able to use a fourth hole, and that's just because I think the... Uh, now this aligns with this and because of it's being a universal system it's not going to work very well but nonetheless we'll make it work and as you guys can see here's a water port mount got this bad boy there one more bolt here and we should be good to go and uh we're going to try to hurry i think it's about to rain soon so Boom, and just like that, we are good to go. Now, only problem, only like concern I do have is with this suction cup up here, it does hold the rack pretty well. Now on the bottom, I think once the weight of the, of the water port and the water weight, it's probably gonna cause it to flex. I'm gonna try to see if I can get another one of these suction cups to kind of just push off from the bottom. I think that'd probably be the best result because I did have to put like a couple washers and stuff in the bolts to prevent the bolts from actually hitting the window. Um, but there we go. Now let's just tighten everything up. Tighten these bolts up here. Tighten
tighten everything up and we should be squared away. Now, do the other side. There we go. It is good to go. As you guys can see now, you guys could do a water, the water port as we will. Let me show you guys that real quick or roto pack. But here's the water port. Now with the bracket that came from water port, this will just slide over the bracket, this mounting bracket. But in theory, it should just work like this. Boom, there you go. Now, that's probably gonna be my only concern, so I'm gonna definitely take the water port back off because I can already hear, as you guys can hear, that's the screw, the bolt actually tapping on the window. I'm um, pretty sure after like 20 miles, it's just gonna break the window. I don't really see that lasting very much longer than that, but that is what it would look like at the end of it. So, there you guys go. Pretty simple install. I thought it was, uh, I did need someone just help me. My dad helped me earlier to push up the rooftop tent. To get the bars to line up but that was about it if i didn't have the rooftop tent this is definitely a one person job pretty simple if you need it absolutely not is it worth having we're gonna find out um so this i don't think will be in the line of sight as far as like blind spot and whatnot because you don't really look up here i think you look down here in this area but i don't know we'll see we'll figure it out but there you guys go and now got the water port mounted Boom. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do promise next video we will be installing the shower curtain from OBS up here, which then encompass the whole showering system, which then therefore that upload outlook comes out. You have your shower system here, shower, boom, good to go. There we go. So, that's stay tuned for part two of our overlanding shower system setup. But in the meantime, it's getting cloudy, it's getting windy, it's picking up. I do not want to be stuck out here trying to put everything out in the rain. So, I will see you guys in the next video. So, you all know what to do. Follow your path. Peace! Alright, so, actually I lied. The video is not actually over. I actually just tried getting in the back of the car. And I did not realize that you need to open the door and the water port cannot be in the way. So, I mean it doesn't hit too bad. But, it's definitely going to hit. If, I mean, it's going to be difficult if there's water in here. Um, so, that's just going to annoy me. So I think the best course of action is going to be to take the mount and just shift it up towards up left, up right, up right, up and then to the right. Yes, that direction. We're going to shift it that way, up to the right, because at this point that's going to be the only fix to it. But I still think, as you guys can see, a, su a suction cup will fix most of that. But anyways, I will fix that when I'm off the video and by the next time you guys see this it'll be all fixed and resolved but in the meantime I'm out peace all right guys so I know I said that the video was over and that it was done actually I don't I lied it's not really over so let me show you guys real quick so it's kind of not it's a little dark out here so kind of late but anyways so I have one mount here for the suction cup another one here I actually was doing some research online I realized that this section needs to be like one section cup down here and one down here to kind of prevent it from flexing. I know I had said that it'd be better to have three, but I think I have to do my research. If I have one here and one here, it should allow to flex or it should prevent the flex. I mean, being that this is pretty rigid from the roof rack, but yeah, anyways, that's what we're going to do is just unbolt this one here, unbolt this suction cup and just put them in these in this line here that's slotted. And then that should finish up the installation. 
and boom, there we go. All right, so I'm officially done with the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, put it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think and what you guys, your thought on this whole process of this exterior panel on the outside. What do you guys think about it? Let me know your feedback, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.